As we saw in the last video, the uh, bearings are in and ready to go. Uh, and from the previous videos, we looked at the plug situation. So now I've got both plugs on this side, fully inserted, a little bit of JB Weld. You notice to see where I've punched them in order to retain them, hopefully permanently. We also, also have another plug here on this side. This is a tricky one. It's a difficult position in here. There's a lot of JB Weld behind that. That will never come out by itself. You can see all the new hardware for the crankcases. This will all, uh, all brand new hardware from Andover Norton and from Old Brits. And we'll put the crank in. Um, it will be a dry fit the first time. And the goal here is to check the crankshaft in float. So the next time you see the video, we should have everything all assembled. Again, as a dry run, there won't be any sealant on that, uh, on the cases at that point. We'll check in float, we'll show that. And then we will remove the one side and um, put it together for, uh, for good. That's the goal. Thanks for uh, joining me with these videos. So as we said, uh, the crank cases are now fully assembled. It is dry, there's no um, sealant between the cases yet. We are gonna check uh, crankshaft in float now. You can see we've got the dial set at zero and we'll give it a little bit of a tug and we'll see where we're at with this. I'll probably actually check several positions on the crank, but it should be about the same. Got all new hardware holding this engine now together. So looking good there. And uh, next step is make sure our float is within tolerance. Uh, and then once we're done there, I'll go ahead and pull it back off the engine stand and then we can reassemble with sealant on it. And that should close everything up for now. So you can see here we're about 22 thousandths. I believe spec on these engines is somewhere around 24, so we're kind of on the higher end of it, but that's quite all right for a street motor. It's not gonna be raced, and we want to give there a little plenty of room for the crank to expand. As these things kind of spin, uh, according to Mr. Comstock, that crank uh, shaft actually spreads quite a bit. So we wanna make sure we got plenty of clearance on either side. We don't wanna score up the cases or ruin anything else. Um, and looking pretty good here. I'm certainly not going to shim uh, at 22. So looking good here. Uh, we'll unbolt everything again and seal it up and we we'll, should be done with the lower end for now.